Friday, taking a long weekend and going back to the Adirondacks. Back to the stomping grounds for hiking and jeeping. Gonna go explore this weekend. Tents ready. Gotta get the jeep packed up. It's like nine in the morning, so I gotta do that. Gotta make sure I have a tarp in case it rains. I don't have much shelter. Refrigerator. Time to go on an adventure. On Andy's weekly vlog. Prescott is my hometown, and I'm leaving it behind. Boom. Just stopped at Walmart for some groceries. Spent about $100. Not gonna starve, which is good. And beer here is so friggin' cheap. A two for a beer, bush beer, for 15 bucks. I think we got a problem in Canada. We're paying pretty much $40 for a case of two for a beer and they're paying $15 here. That's incredibly crazy. Insane. Anyways. Off to my camp spot. I got about probably, let's say 40 minutes to get there. So I gotta get gas. Yeah, I gotta go get gas. So I'm gonna do that. And then on my way to find a campsite. Stopping for the gas. You gotta fill her up. The Jeep is full. Just starting to rain. I'm hoping it stops when I get back to camp. So I just pulled off the highway or the 458 and I found this nice little trail. Uh, I guess it goes to Madawaska Pond. So I'm gonna take the Jeep in and check that out. And we'll see what this pond looks like. See if there's any campsites down here. There might be, so I'll check it out.
Well, doesn't that suck? Always at, always in the middle of the trail, a log across the road, and I can't get by. Even if I did get by, I'm dealing with this. I got lots of water, and there's a dam here building up on the trail. So this is why I cannot cross. And I'm sure somebody cut that tree down for a reason. going to turn around and head back to the other trail and I think that'll take me to the pond. I won't have any issues like this but this was kind of cool just coming down this narrow trail and seeing what was here but of course there's always a log. It was the first year I didn't go moose hunting and uh, yeah, I really missed out because of the wedding. But, uh, so it's kind of nice just to come up here and kind of drive on the trails because when I go moose hunting, I usually just take the Jeep or the truck and I just kind of venture off and go exploring around the area. And it's kind of nice coming up here doing this because it kind of feels like I'm in Timmins moose hunting right now. And with all the nice fall colors and the trails and and then the camping, except I'm gonna have a little more rough camping, not in the trailer, in my tent, in the Jeep, but that's all right. I got heat. I'm gonna see if I can call in a moose, maybe one night or one morning, we'll see. You know, just an old school bus sitting in the woods. <laughs> I'm at the Matawaska parking area here and uh, Santa Clara Tract Adirondacks Forest Preserve. So I don't know if I can drive any farther or not. I imagine you can't because you probably have to park here and then walk the rest of the way. Oh yeah, just down here there's a gate. So I'm just gonna lock the Jeep up and take a walk down to the pond. Ooh. Wow. I just heard a big crack in the woods. This definitely here, this looks like moose territory. 
I would love to call on a bull right here right now. That would be friggin' awesome. So I'm pretty sure I just heard uh, a moose. It sounded like it uh, kind of off in the distance over here. So I'm just gonna give some calls and see if I can hear it again. It almost sounded like a uh, cow moose squawking. That's, uh, that's my terminology. The cow moose was squawking. Back at the Jeep, checked out Madawaska Pond. It was pretty cool, uh, but I didn't want to walk too far just because I have to find my camp. So I want to go do that before it gets dark, even though it's not that late, but I got to get, uh, gotta figure out how I'm getting my wood. Got to do that and then get my camp. Pulled in on uh, another trail here. I've been down this road before, and I um, found a camping spot down here. So I'm gonna go down here because I think that I probably might be able to call in. Might have a chance of calling in a moose tonight where I'm camping. So it's pretty secluded. Shouldn't be anybody around here. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. It's uh, four o'clock. But I gotta get there and get set up, get ready for tomorrow. Finally got here. It's uh, I think just after four, so I'm gonna get hurrying up and get everything set up, and then uh, just sit by the fire, have a Caesar and a beer. So I'm all set up, tents out, fire's going. Back in the Adirondack region, gonna do some overlanding. Went for uh, off-road today, which was awesome. Tomorrow, 
doing hiking. So I think I'm doing, probably be doing nipple top. Might go take a look at the lake right now. Get some, uh, maybe see if there's a big moose sitting there. So I just mixed myself a Caesar and I peeled the raw potato. Now I know that sounds weird, but it actually goes good with a Caesar. Remember when as a kid, your parents would cook potatoes and you would just take it from the pot and eat it? Well, that's what I did. So I really like raw potatoes. I think I'm gonna cook steak tonight. So here's the steak. Oh yeah, from Walmart. Get that on there. Tonight's temperature is supposed to drop to uh, minus three. Holy shit, my steaks are on fire. She's gonna be a cool one tonight. Got lots of fleece blankets, sleeping bag. We'll see how the tent works out, but I do have my heater. So I'll be rocking this bad boy tonight. My Mr. Buddy heater. It keeps me warm and toasty. This is a ribeye, and it's friggin' good. I did it perfect. So that would be my heater in the tent. And boy, is it warm in here. Thank God. It's about quarter after 10, trying to get to bed somewhat early so I can get up around 4, 4.30 in the morning and then head to the parking area so I can start early on the hike. So good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Ooh. So it's, I uh, woke up at five this morning, got up, made a hot chocolate, I'm all packed up, and I'm ready to go to the trail. So it's almost six o'clock right now, and it's pitch dark. So I'm gonna head there, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. Pulled into the parking area. I'm gonna have a little breakfast. It's brekky time. Cocoa Krispies. I've walked this road many times, and here I am again, going to Nipple Top, and uh, maybe Colvin today, if I have time. But a nice morning, plus one, a little cool, but she's nice. It's gonna be a fall walk, the High Peaks region. Uh, colors are beautiful right now, and uh, I noticed that the, on the drive here, a lot of the high peaks have snow on them already. I remember this time last year, they did too. I didn't think they would yet, but they do. So we might see some snow today at the top of the summits. Done, check. Signed and ready to go on the hike. 
Oh shit, this is gonna be a long day. This is probably gonna be another 10 hour day. I'm hoping it's not gonna take that long because I really wanna get back and kinda enjoy where I'm camping. Let's see where my legs can take me today. Hopefully they hold up. Gotta drink the water. I got three bottles of water. Hopefully that'll get me by. We'll see. Just got here at the HG Leech Trail. Doing Dial and Nipple Top. Possibly Colvin. Uh, I know I'm gonna do Dial and Nipple Top, but Colvin, it'll just depend on how I'm making out today. So I'm just going this way and uh, come along and enjoy the adventure. Boom. I love a good old nipple every, every now and then or all the time. Boom. This might be the biggest nipple that I'm ever gonna be on. Just saying. Not sure if this is really the way. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like it's packed down, but I don't know. This is kind of icy, this rock bed. Oh, yeah. Wow. This doesn't look like the trail, but I don't know where it would have went. Yeah, definitely not the trail. All right, I gotta head back. It's hard in the fall to tell where you gotta go because the leaves are covering the trail. So it's hard, so you gotta look at them, make sure to see the markers. That's if there is markers. Anyways, I gotta head back and find the trail. Getting into the snow now. Lots of snow. The higher you go, the more snow there is. Yeah, that's 
example, I did that a few weeks ago up through here and now there's snow at the top. But it looks pretty cool. All the tips got snow on them, except for the one I'm standing on. But I will be going to snow eventually. So I think I just got to Bear Peak, possibly. And it looks overlooks all the um, Great Range. So like Gothics, Armstrong, Upper, Lower Wolfjaw, uh, Marcy's over here. So anyways, there's a bunch of them, saw teeth, and uh, I think I'm going right up here to Nipple Top. That's where I'm headed. Just had a bite to eat. And now I gotta go to, well, Dial first. I gotta go to Dial which is probably up here. And then over to nipple top. Let's go dial it in. I'm gonna dial it in to nipple top. The only time I love snow is when it's on the trail, not at home. I'm getting into the snow. It's getting thicker. Getting sloshed with pellets right now. I wasn't sure if it was slippery right there or not, so I kind of crawled up there. Dial Mountain. I came, I saw Dial. I'm vlogging. Don't mind me. <laughs> Nothing like soggy fajitas. So soggy. I probably will never do this lunch again. Beautiful ladies at the top of <laughs> Dial, and we're dialing it in Whee! at Dial Mountain. <laughs> well, this is Kathy with our, our latest um, high peak mixture of warm cider and fireball. 
It warms the do, oh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Two shots at the top. <laughs> Fireball and cider. Whoever would have thought that is such awesome. an amazing mixture. Awesome. So I got a couple shots. Woo. So I thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That I'll take a third one. Why not? <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. So I will be bringing that home <laughs> to you guys, my friends. I went through a big mud hole knee deep on both knees. So now my shoes, socks, pants are soaking wet. And I'm up here in the fucking snow. Isn't that nice? I am uh, a half mile to nipple top. So I'm almost there. And then I'll think about doing Colvin. Nipple top's really lactating today. Lactating milk. Why is there so much milk on the trail? It's a lot of milk nipple top. I don't know where you're stepping in here. I don't know if there's gonna be a hole. A big water hole. Mud hole. You gotta go up here. I had to put the jacket on because it's raining. Well, the snow's melting off the trees and it keeps hitting me and I keep getting pelted with snowballs on my head. So, the odd time I get a big clunk of snow falling on me. Look at this white wonderland. Oh, white wonderland. Shannon, you really missed out. You love Christmas, you love snow. Well, here it is. Two miles to go to Nipple Top, and then we'll see from there. Gotta go down and up. Nipple top right here. That's where I'm going. I'm almost there. Nipple top, peak number, uh, I think peak number 13 now. I think dial was my 12th. So here's nipple top at the top. It's, whoa, it's 3.35, shit. But I still wanna do another high peak and I don't know if I should. But I really want to because it's like right there. <laughs> Anyways, so this is complete. Now I'm either heading back the same trail. I think I'm going to do the loop, but go back. 
think I'll do that. It'd be a different trail, but I heard it's pretty wet. God damn it, nipple top. I heard you were lactating, and I came. Not in my pants. Boom. I came, I saw, nipple top. That's my nipple. I'm coming down from nipple top, and this trail is friggin' like really nice. And it's hard to not get the camera out, even though I'm running out of time. Yeah, I'm trying to book it down this trail and it's just really hard to not get the camera out because there's just so much crazy beautiful scenery here. I wanted to get video up top coming down because I could see all the mountains coming down the trail but I'm just running short for time but anyways like I said I gotta put the camera down and I gotta book it. So I'm just coming from Nipple Top. I stopped at Indian Head because I wanted to take some sun set pictures because the sun's just setting over on the other side of the mountain. So I made it here just in time. So I did something totally stupid. So my uh, tripod the little uh, screw bolt that goes here. I dropped it and I actually picked it up not knowing it was that piece. And I carried it for like a few meters and like, oh, it's not mine. I don't really want to carry this. And I stuck it back in the trail in the ground and now it's sitting back on the trail. So now I got to go back and find it. It is noticeable because I know I stuck it in the ground sticking up so hopefully nobody grabbed it, but now I gotta hoof it back and find that friggin' thing. Fuck. <sighs> Cause I need it to take videos and pictures, so I gotta go get it. So, gotta go back, find that, and then head back before it gets dark, cause the sun is going down. Shit. Freaking idiot. So I was holding this, I dropped this off my tripod and I was holding it, like I said, for a, I don't know, 100 meters or so and I didn't want to carry it and I didn't want it so I ended up saying, oh, I wonder what this is for. I wonder if it was like tightening something up, like I've honestly been touching this, screwing it in tight and all day and I picked it up and I didn't know what it was and I stuck it in the ground and I had to trek all the way back to get it and I'm super tired and I'm pissed that I had to do that but I'm happy that I got it. Thank friggin' God. Still got lots of sun left so, or enough. So I'll make it back in time, or I should. It might be a little dark but the time I get to where I need to be, I'll be fine with a headlamp. So yeah. That's uh, my dilemma, and uh, I dealt with it. I came back, I got it. Okay, gotta go back to the Jeep once again. So as you can see, 
how dark it's getting right now. Uh, but I came across this waterfall and it's pretty cool. So I wanted to get a video, but not the best video because it's pretty dark. But I do have to come down this trail another time to go to Colvin, so I'll have to get it another time during the day and get some nice shots. I definitely could get some nice shots. Found a camp spot. I've been here before. Nobody here, which is good. And uh, somebody actually left the coals. They left the hot coals in the fire pit, so it was easy for me to start it. I just threw some wood on, started up, boom, done. It's nine o'clock, 9 p.m., and I'm super hungry and I'm cold, my feet are wet. I need to change my clothes and have a shower because I stink. But I'm gonna probably just uh, hang here for tomorrow and get rested and then maybe go for a hike on Monday. We'll see. Lobster claws for dinner. Super stoked for this. Three to four minutes gently steam. All right, let's boil this mofo. Look at that. Lobster claws. Doesn't get any better than this. Lobster claws, beer, Caesars, fire. That's awesome, boom. So it's nine o'clock, just woke up. Had a great sleep last night. Wasn't cold because the heater worked well, which is amazing. God, I love it when that heater's in there heating my body up. A little cloudy today, but still nice and it's not raining. So I'm just gonna pretty much today bum around camp, kind of relax, and then uh, might pack up at some point and go explore with the Jeep. But I'm not in a rush. I'm just gonna enjoy what I'm seeing right now. I do have to dry clothes, backpack, shoes. wanted to wait till the daytime to have a shower. Last night was, was tired, it was cold. It wasn't too cold, but I just didn't feel like doing it, so doing that today. Got the clothes hanging, drying. The old super solar shower. You won't find a better shower for camping. It's the best. I'm just heating up the water and filling up the solar shower. off to find some new camping spots maybe some jeep trails i don't know that's the point of it it's the adventure i might find a trail somewhere that i can go take the jeep and i might just head that way like i did on uh, friday so gotta pack up and uh, hit the road
went down that trail, I just came down, but it's really nice. This will be marked on the GPS and I probably will come back here another time. I'm not going to stay here tonight because I'd like to be on a lake somewhere. It's not on a lake, it's in the, in the woods. road blockage but I just so happened that I brought my machete ain't nothing gonna stop this Just gotta use a little bit of my muscle power. Look at that. Trail clear. I found one camping spot and it wasn't that nice, so that's all I found. So there was really nothing out of it which is too bad. Holy shit, I'm going to have a good fire tonight. Look at all this. This is wonderful. Now I can burn all this. Get dinner ready, Caesars, beer, fire. Doesn't get any sweeter than this. So it's Monday morning, 8.30, and you can see my breath. It's a chilly morning and it's really foggy. I just looked out the window, but it's time to get up. So this is my morning down by the lake. Super foggy. Can't see a damn thing. Last night I had dinner. I had trout, which I didn't really like, but I think it was bad because I got it on sale and it was sitting in my cooler for 
however long. My canned peas, they were brutal. My hot dogs, they were awful. My bonfire, it sucked. I just needed to call her quits. I think today, I'm just gonna clean up my gear, pack up. Might just drive around with the Jeep again. I didn't wanna do a hike today because I didn't want to do a full day and get back home so late something tonight. Something cool just happened. So last time I was here, these rods that hold up the that hold up the flies, I uh, dropped one, or I left one behind. And look at this, sitting right here. I never been so happy to find this thing because now I don't have to order one. I don't have to look for it. I've got it back. That's two things I've lost and two things I've found. What does Andrew Forche do? When the water is dead calm and he's bored, he skips rocks. Watch and learn. That was a sick throw. There must have been like 20 skips on that. You gotta spread the skippy oh so nicely. Doesn't spread on there too well, but. It'll do, it'll do. I don't know how many times last night, in the middle of the night, I heard the coyotes yipping and howling. I was almost gonna scream. Would you keep it down out there? I'm trying to sleep. Wow, that was a shitty throw. You didn't see that. Throwing the cover on, take two. That's better. So I'm just on the uh, power lines near Anchiata, New York, in the Adirondack region. So just wanted to go out for a little adventure drive and I found this power line with the trail. So decided to head off it. I found some camp spots, a kind of a nice trail to for today because it's a nice day. So. That's it for another Andy's Adventures on Andy's Weekly Vlog. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way. And follow the adventure.
until next time.